I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina for the week. I just got some food at Hyman's Seafood, which was great, and I've just been walking around exploring. I'm originally supposed to be here with Bryce, my friend, but his flight got canceled because of rain. <laughs> he got another flight, and then that plane hit a bird on departure. So I think he's just gonna try again tomorrow. But it's just cursed because I tried to visit him in New York, and then COVID happened, then we tried to go to New Orleans and Hurricane Ida happened. So hopefully he gets here tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm gonna walk around some more and explore the historic city market and the waterfront. Every single street is so beautiful. There are so many pastel colors and different types of architectures like Art Deco and Gothic. I hope just by the clips I'm showing you, you can just see how pretty it is here. A lot of the houses have these beautiful gaslit lanterns in front. The sidewalks are all cobblestone and all the streets are lined with these beautiful palmetto trees. They're kind of like palm trees, but a little bit shorter. And it's also on their flag because it signifies one of the first victories against the British in the Revolutionary War, where they built a fort out of these palmetto tree logs. actually marked by the Preservation Society of Charleston. You can see by the plaques on them. But some of the houses are actually museums that you can go into. So I went into Nathaniel Russell's house. He was a dude that like greatly benefited from the slave trade and that's where he made a lot of his money. But you could really see just how grand his living quarters were. Um, we started from the entryway all the way to the garden. Some of my favorite rooms were the, like the dining room. It's so grand, just from like the little details, like the crown molding, to uh, the columns were on like this blue lapis stone. There was also the sitting room and a tea room that were like just decked out in gold. <laughs> so pretty. I just think like the details were so beautiful, and it was really cool to go inside a house and see. Look who's here! Hello. We, what are we doing? We're narrating. We're narrating. Oh god, there's so many people, I can't do it. We just got food at Miller's all day and we had this great okra and we're walking around Lagar Street which has like some of the most beautiful Charleston homes. We even went inside one that was for sale. What is your list? One nine. Okay. Yeah. Great. Right. It's an interesting shape. Yeah. Oh, it's slanted. Ooh. So that water. Oh, that makes sense. It's old money right there. <laughs> they all have like these like fake doors that go onto porches or like piazzas they call them, and a lot of the roofs on them are painted blue for bugs, I think. Say the whole. Oh, <laughs> it's like a Gola Geechee African American thing where they say like the blue will. <laughs> Maybe not. 
sweeping like stairways, these moss covered stairways. <laughs> Spanish moss on trees? It looks so fuzzy. I know, I don't want to touch them. We just walked half an hour um, outside of downtown to get some authentic Golakichi food. We got some shrimp. The shrimp is so good. Yam, collard greens, a turkey leg. Also, this ogre soup is really good. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Oh. Is it this door? I guess this is kind of a speakeasy. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it. Not a speakeasy. <laughs> we just got yeah. lost. Yeah, <laughs> This is where we see passenger ships, cargo ships really? of one family during the 20th century. If you century. go to the plantations or house museums, the ladies will often call the four poster beds. If you paid attention, it looks like y'all are. We're almost out of the uh, out of the walled city. We just finished our walking tour, which was so informative. Our tour guide was great, and we learned all about you know the history of Charleston, of one of like the wealthiest colonies, based on like the rice crops, how they used indentured slaves to profit off of them. We got to walk around the city and look at some historic buildings like the theater. We also walked around the Battery. It was a really great tour. One of the tour suggestions was to go toward the Atkin Rhett House. A lot of it is preserved in its original state and not redone like the Nathaniel Russell House. So we're doing the audio tour right now. Ripping out the carpet and then placing in like straw, whole ensemble. Mm -hmm. Just like people to do all of this. Oh my god. It smells great. Got an assortment of different biscuits. Yum.
southern meat and cheese. We got two pieces of cheese there. I don't really... Does it, what does it say? I mean, it's, there's a mountaineer cheese, which is raw cow's milk. I don't know which one that is. Mm. And there's cotton seed. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> we got some shrimp. Our amazing charcuterie board that we finished. And some panzanella. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> this shrimp is so good. It's like buttery. It tastes like lobster. It's so good. Good morning, we're in our tiny little smart rental car and we've done a lot of exploration around historic downtown. So for the next two days, we're gonna be exploring some of the outside islands and plantations like McLeod Plantation, Charles T, and also Boone Hall. Charles T? <laughs> Charles, Charles T Garden? T. Charles T Garden. <laughs> we're also gonna be going to Folly, Sullivan, and James Island. capture like how beautiful the moss is. My favorite was the tractor ride where we got to like see all the different fields and kind of get like a history of like what they've planted nice. throughout the years, like the different families that have owned it for blue dye. Great cash crop of Carolina. About 90% of Charleston's bricks are actually made from Boone Hall. A bunch of different forts. Oh, battery. Oh. Reinforced concrete structure. Defender of the Palmetto Log Fort. Whew, it's hot. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I have, I have no interest in that. 
blurred in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> My name is in. Oh, look. <laughs> We've driven out 30 minutes to come to the Charleston Tea Garden. Our tea is both grown and manufactured. It is from these tiny, fresh new leaves that we produce our American classic tea. This height is what we call the tabletop of the tea plant. They found this height is where you get the maximum yield of leaf off the plant. This is the machine that helps harvest the top of the tea bushes. You should mention that the flowering tells them that the, the plant is going to grow. When it blooms, it kind of looks like popcorn. It's like a white with yellow center, and they can't really harvest the flowers because they don't, they don't have any flavor. We've just learned so much about tea. We're gonna try every single one and figure out which one is the best. Oh my God! <laughs> This is the angel oak tree, one of the oldest oak trees. And you can see like all the branches just sprawling out. Looks so climbable, but you cannot climb them. <laughs> We're at the McLeod plantation now, another historic uh, cotton growing plantation that was preserved by the Historical Society. And there's also a beautiful oak tree on the property. This one's 300 years and covered in Spanish moss. So beautiful. Taking some cotton home. So this is like the super premium cotton. Yeah. The, the hybrid cotton. Really soft. It does feel like cotton. <laughs> I didn't really expect it to be so similar to the final product. We're here at Chico Feo, which also means ugly boy, apparently. Just had this great meal at Chico Feo, dinner number one. We have to go to two other more places for dinner. But now we're at Folly Beach. Another beach on the east side, on the west side of Charleston. Beautiful day. Last dinner, it is the infamous Pugin's porch. It is. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I'm too full. So good. So that was our beautiful trip to Charleston pretty underrated city that I don't think a lot of people know about, but it was really fun to explore the city and look at all the beautiful architecture. <laughs> My favorite part of the trip was probably just touring all the houses and walking down Legree. Legree Street. Street. A lot yeah. of southern charm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I really got to like know the city and like all the roads and stuff. Yeah, it's really easy to navigate. It's, it's pretty grid-like. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed going to Boone Hall and looking at the beautiful oaks and learning about the city's history. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>